Hey guys, Spud 3D here, and today I'm going to be opening this. So I used the store credit, not all of it, uh, from my uh, Steam events to buy this, a booster box for Battle for Snicker. Uh, just gonna quickly go over the promo. It's a sick Runeous Path. I mean, this is awesome. Foil, three mana, destroy, trick, creature, or planeswalker, awaken, four, four, seven. If you cast this well for its awaken cost, or for seven mana, also put four plus one plus one counters in target land you control, it becomes a zero, zero elemental creature with haste. Uh, it is still a land, which is very cool. But the part I especially like about it is down here, you'll notice. Uh, it has the five mana symbols in foil. Uh, I mean, this one just blows my favorite forge booster box, buy a box promo, out of the water. I don't even have that one anymore. I actually sold it. Um, so you'll see it says booster packs on here, Battle for Zendikar, age 13 plus, which seems to be displayed a bit more like, uh, out there on this box. Friday Night Magic, Face of Natural Disaster, uh, front art is Gideon here, side art says booster packs, side art says Friday Night Magic, obviously. So, I'm gonna crack this stuff open. I was gonna buy a fat pack, um, but fat packs, word of warning to anyone who wants to buy a fat pack, at my card shop they were $55 because of Flart Lands, so just ask yourself, should I really pay this much money for Flart Lands if they do the exact same thing? Even though they look cool, I still am just thinking, really, like, what What are you, what are you doing? Yeah, okay, gotta get the super cool in there, there we go. Got a little booster box, booster packs here. I'll set this off to the side. Uh, set my rudeness path right there. Take the first pack with allies in the car. First official pack opening. This may be uploaded in multiple parts. On commons. There we go. Skitter skin, breaker of armies, enclosing fissure. Uh, chrome, hell kite. So, first card. Uh, Seven mana, six mana for a four for flying with landfall. And if a land enters the battlefield, a chrome hellcat deals one damage to a creature or a player. If the owns a mountain, deals two damage to that creature or player instead. Flirt planes, sweet. I'm trying to get enough flirt planes to make my mono white deck full flirts. Um, so I'll set that aside. Have the pile there. Second one with the umalog on it. Pretty sure that's umalog at least. Art has changed on the Eldrazi's a little bit, so that's. Vampiric Rites. Hellmore Tidecaller. Royal Spout. Canopy Vista. Um, Dual Land. Yay. Don't know how much it's worth, actually. I should probably check that. It might be worth something. Uh, plant Token probably is, and I'm just stupider. It's probably worth nothing. Uh, which is cool, because I believe, actually, the... Full art version of that is one of the expeditions, so it's probably worth like a buck, five bucks. I don't know. Uh, Odinu Rising, okay, there we go. Sorry, Taria Warcaller, Blade Cardact, and Woodland. Wanderer. Four mana for a 2 2 Vigilance Trample. Well, then Wanderer enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter kind of for each color of mana spent to cast it. So a maximum of a 4 4 4 4 with Vigilance and Trample. Actually, no, no. 6 6 for 4, sorry, with Vigilance and Trample. Um, another plant token. Good, stacking them up. Uh, this pack with Cura on it. I'm not particularly happy with the Planeswalkers. Uh,. None of them are good for my mono white deck. Gideon's more of an allies planeswalker. He's more of a standard type planeswalker. Or modern if you're playing modern allies. Uh, that there. Unift Foot, Mercer Ranger, Cryptic Cruiser, and a Fine Bloodlord. Uh, this is one of the intro pack cards. Uh, seven mana for a four five. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Basically, in a one player match, that's Sabine Bond and Flying. Swamp. Collecting them all. Oh, yeah! Sweet! Eldrazi token for what Desolate Twin. 
ten ten. One of the biggest tokens I know of. Actually, I think that is the biggest token I know of. Hagra Sharpshooter. Horribly Aura. Plutter My. Oh, yay! The Mirror Shepherd. Okay. So this card is pretty good. Uh, probably putting this in my mono white deck for mana fixing. 7 mana for a 4 4 flying landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield, they're in control. May you return target non land permanent from Grave Rage of Hand. If that land is a plane, you turn that long land permanent to the battlefield instead. Uh, and a foil on our club. And an island. So far, only one plane. This kind of stinks. Foil, I'm going to put that there. And next up, we've got another Dean uh, ally pack. Jeez, pull that off. This is a messy, messy pack here. Hope that didn't do anything to the rare. Grove Rumbler. Okay, there we go. Turn against Deathless Behemoth, Wasteland Strangler. The card I pulled from my, uh, promo pack. 3 mana for a 3-2 Devoid. This card has no color. Uh, when this card is the battlefield, you may put a card and opponent lands from exile into the player's graveyard. If you do target creature, it's minus 3, minus 3 until the turn. Forced. Seconds token. Going through 6 packs. 30 packs to go. Uh, Rising Massima. Umalog's Nullfire. Urchita Hagra. March from the Tomb. Orzhov card. Well, not Orzhov colors, but three in a black white. Uh, return any number of target ally cards from your converted cast eight or less from Graveyard to the battlefield. Very powerful standard card. And a planes. Woohoo! Scan token. Fortland in every pack, which is good. I believe Seek the Wilds has been the top card on my packs like three times in a row. This is ridiculous. Herald of Kozlek. Tunneling Genopede. Foil. Blade Gorge. Angelic Captain. Uh, an Angel Ally. Didn't realize there were very many Angel Allies. Uh, three and a red white for a four three flying. Whenever it attacks, it gets plus one plus one until it turn for any other attacking ally. Foil Full Art. That's sick. Foil art. Foil, uh, uh, whatever saying. Foil, um, island, and normal mountain. And a elemental token. Pack does not want to open. Just so you know, this was actually $115, so 15 bucks extra for this booster box, and it's going up as their supply diminishes. Plated Crusher, 7 6. It's pretty big there. Hedron Archive, Blighted Step, From Beyond, woohoo! Uh, 4 mana for a Devoid, uh, Enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a 1-1 one, one colorless Scion creature token on the battlefield. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, it has Sack this creature, add 1 to your mana pool, and 2 or Sack it from your Beyond, uh, Sacrifice it, search your library for an Eldrazi card, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your library. That card's powerful. And a Foil Sledge Caller. Swamp Scion token. Gone through 9 packs. 27 to go. No Mythics yet. Okay, here we go. Resolute Blade Master, Come Storm Waker, Crumble the Dust, Ugin's Insight. Okay, I am playing all the cards for my pre release. So, this is. Sorry. This is actually the card I got as my pre release promo. Uh, 5 mana, Scry X, where X is the highest converted mana cost among opponents you control, then draw 3 cards. Force, Core Ally Token. This is so far turning out to be fairly eh, <laughs> out of the box. No way am I making my money back. 
Resolute Blade Master as the starting card again for my uncommons. Precursor Salt. Dampening Paws. Undergrowth Champion! Yeah! Our first Mythic! Actually, this is a card I'm putting in my uh, Mono Green deck. My Commander deck. 3 mana for a 2 2. If damage will be dealt to Undergrowth Champion, but has a Blossom Blossom counter on, prevent that damage and remove a Blossom Blossom counter from Undergrowth Champion. Whenever it lands into the battlefield under control, put a Blossom Blossom counter on Undergrowth Champion. And a Foil Angel of Rewall. Uh, actually, it's an uncommon, so it's good enough to go over it. Uh, 7 mana for 4 for flying. When it enters the battlefield, you gain 1 life for your control. Mountain. Jeez, lack of planes is real. We've got our first Mythic. That's good. Um. Uh, sorry about that. Avoid attendant. Milk your familiar. Horribly awry. Bring to light. Uh, green, blue, uh, three. Convert to the library for your creature, ancient or sorcery spell. If the converted mana costs less than equal to the colors of mana, plan to cast Bring to Light. Exile that card, shuffle your library. You may cast that card without paying for its mana cost. Jeez, still no planes. Alright, so I'm going to go through one more row of packs and upload the video in two parts. Because I don't want to make this a super long video that you're going to have to watch. So, last three packs for the video. This is all part cutthroat. Funny story, this is actually the front art of the event deck. Uh, Roy's Retribution, Infused Elements, Brutal Explosion, uh, Blue, Red, and 2, Devoid, this card has no color, choose 1, return target small creature to its owner's hand, Brutal Explosion deals 2 damage to target creature or planeswalker, if that permanent would be put in the graveyard of this turn, exile instead. Forest, Scan Token, 2 more packs to go in the video. And only 1 Mythic and we're halfway through the box almost. This is not looking good, because there's supposed to be like 3 Mythics or something minimum per box. If I do not get my three mythics, I will be annoyed. Annoyed beyond belief. Rising Massima, Expedition Envoy, Retreat to Colham. It's not a mythic, but it's legendary. Pulled this card out of my pre release. Uh, Nurinja, Roy Sapper. Uh, three and two white, or a white and a blue for a merfolk ally, legendary creature, four mana, or sorry, uh, four four. Whenever you cast an answer you spell, you might put three plus plus one counters on target land you control. If you do, that land becomes a zero zero elemental creature with haste and still land until end of turn. And a planes, finally, that's our only our third planes, and we're almost halfway through the box. Alright, last pack of the video. Uh... This is turning out to be a very bad box. Brood Mentor, Spawning Bed, Bane of Blood God, Dust Stalker, No Mythic still, 4453 Devoid, Haste, at the beginning of your end step, if you control no other colors, creatures return it to your hand. Swamp, Plant Token. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching part one of this Booster Box video, and I will have the second part uploaded soon. Bye!